Hey guys, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 with me, Tema Tactics, where we're looking at the Black Sea. The Black Sea, yeah, where we're going to start our naval invasion from, over here on the east coast of Romania in Constanta. Once we get those uh, Marines recruited here, right now, you know what? They are quite far away from uh, being ready, October 29th and November 20th. Let's add one more. Having three doesn't seem like overkill to attack uh, Krasnodar over here, right? Yeah, that's uh, Krasnodar over here. And this is Novo Rysysk. Okay, yeah, so let's go ahead and attack across there. Now, we already have a couple of things in our favor already, and that is the air units we have. We have two fighter wings here, uh, 450 planes. In where are they at again? They're over here over there so they're operating from here over the Black Sea the fighter wing you know what are those the only wings I have they are and we don't have anybody in storage no we have 121 mm, you know what what I'm thinking now this is a bad idea did I forget I think I forgot the fact that as soon as I leave the Iberian Peninsula unguarded yeah, I don't see any enemies now, but they didn't they send down bombers here and take out... They took out my uh, factories and whatnot. They did. You know what? We don't need the fighters there right now. Let's go ahead and take them and send them back home to Madrid. Let's do that. So let's go back home and tell them to attack in this area right here, right? Let's just do that. Air superiority. I don't want to take that chance again where they... Uh, where I took a lot of damage in infrastructure here, and we couldn't e really work on our on our factories, right? We have to repair everything all the time. We don't want that. Okay, so let's not worry about that. But we do have a couple of the close air support wings coming in. You know what? How many do we have in storage here? None. Basically none, right? So when they when they get shot down, shot down over here in Ukraine, which by the way, by the way, I don't think they're there yet. Nope, they're not. They're on their way. They, they're not going to be able to reinforce. We're not going to have any other units coming in, helping them out, and, and you know, taking their place. But on the other hand, I'm going to have to accept that because right now we've been focusing on the naval bombers as well as the fighters. We're not worried about the. We haven't been worrying about the close air support because remember I was thinking I was going to attack England. Right, that was the next thing I was going to do. And for that, naval bombers seem like a lot better thing to have. Right. Right now, we're going to attack in the east. If they get shot down, we'll combine them. We'll just make it few, make do with fewer, I think. So let's keep them there. We'll let, when they get there, they can just uh, operate in Ukraine. Okay, so we do have a couple of armies coming in. And that's one purple one over here. You can see all the way over here in Italy and then over to Romania. The second one is traveling across the Mediterranean. And there are no ships here for the British. So that's cool. Up to... Thessaloniki over there. Okay. And then they can go across into Romania as well. And these are all regular ones. So plus 25%. Great. That takes care of these two armies here. And we'll see when we get there um, in Romania what they're going to do about... Are we going to have two armies or one? We're going to have to have two, right? Because you can only have up to 24 men in an army without taking a hit to your uh, general's abilities, right? Yeah. Anyway, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Now, what about in the south? We do have a pink army here. And then we have one more. That's right. We have one more over here on this side. But there is one more I want to deploy over there later once it's done. Yep, it's training right now. We're training with five here as well. That's fine. And they're up here. It's spread out, kind of. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I think I'm fine. Um, then we have these here. They're protecting our coastline. Yeah, that's it. We go. We don't want to wait for this episode. I don't want to be sitting around. We have given the order. Let's have them uh, executed now. Let's keep an eye out on things here. How's it going here? There are a lot more Russians, right? I mean, that's the whole idea. We're thinking there are more Russians. If we come in here, we can kind of hold the southern front, freeing up the Germans to attack more, right? At least that's what I'm hoping will happen. I don't know if we're going to take down here, Sevastopol. Maybe not, right? Are we doing? Uh, still training. Oh, by the way, we can look at the fleet too. 
Our exercise fleet, is it ready? No, they're still training. Okay. Okay, and we have a few more ships coming in, right? No, yeah, June 1943. But a few more destroyers. We're going to need a lot of those, right? At least I think so. It's looking good so far. Oh, wait, we have some combat over here. Took out one American uh, convoy. Another one there. Good. And a destroyer. Wow. 300 naval bombers there. Yeah, that made sense to me. Good, so they're just patrolling here. And I think uh, five years we're just even... Nope, 2.1 in gain and 1.5 in consumption. Looking pretty good. Hopefully they won't attack too much here. You know what? There's one army here. Let's take it give it to that so they can train. Oh, did they get somebody out there? I'm actually... Yes, we are doing more infantry units here. 73,000 now. Okay. Oh, we have marines here as well. What am I thinking? Two? No, we're getting a ton of them. Morcia, all of them. Okay. Oh, well, no, we have one up here, too. Didn't see that. Okay, but we'll tell them Morcia, then, down here. Okay, that's going to have to be enough, right? Five, right? I think that's going to be plenty. Okay, yeah, let's continue with them there. So I think it's fine for the Navy right now. What do we have? Let's go into our Naval mode. Uh, we'll take a look here. So that's our regular fleet. It's in good shape. I'm counting on this one a lot. One battleship, not huge. And then two heavy cruisers. It's gonna have two more coming in. No, wait. We're gonna have two. We're gonna have four. No, six. We're gonna have six. Six heavy cruisers? Yeah, that's respectable. Wait a minute. Oh, resistance to occupation on Cyprus? Well, hmm. I have one unit here. I don't wanna move that up there, right? Or do I? I mean, if they come down here, the British, and take Port Said, they, I guess they would come to the Suez Canal instead, right? Wouldn't they come from the south? Maybe. But I want to keep that one there. What can I do? Well, I can send somebody from over here, maybe. Yeah. How about this unit? Oh, it's over there. Yep. Let's go ahead and send it over to Barcelona. Which I will be in Barcelona this summer, too. Great, it's going to be exciting. Um, let me move over there, and then I'll go over... Once I get there, let's have them transported over to Cyprus. Hopefully I'll remember that. Anything else? Oh, Algeria, too. So if we put someone in Algier, probably going to be enough. But do we have anybody? We have the Purple Army. They have two units. Alexandria and one over here. But there is this one, which is trained now. Let's give that to the Purple Army. And then this Green Army... Oh, wait a minute. It's sitting over here. Okay, yeah. Let's give that to the purple one, too. You know what? I could take this one and go to Cyprus instead, couldn't I? Don't need it here. Let's do that. Let's go to Cyprus. Leave my soul. Let's go there and take care of the problem. And in that case, I don't really need to have him move, right? He can stay there. And what about in Algier? Well, we don't need two here, right? We'll take him and tell him to go by train all the way to... Where's Algier? There. And that should do it. Right? Any more? No, nothing more. There is on Gibraltar as well, but we are controlling that with a couple of units, so that's going to be fine. Okay, let's continue then. So the fleet is there. We're training in, in the Mediterranean. That's fine. Oh, yeah, that's over there. Yeah, we know that. Um, what about... Over here now. Are we coming in with units? We are coming in with units. But not all of them. Actually, we do... We're probably ready here now to move these as well, right? Yeah, eight units. Let's take them. And move up here next to this one there. Now, let me just redo that. Because I didn't pick to go by uh, rail. And then if you don't re-pick the whole thing, then it might not take. There we go. Okay, now it's going to be pretty quick once they get up there. Let's reorganize that uh, those two armies, maybe. We'll put them under the command of a field marshal. You know, should we get a new one, or should we get the one we already have? Hmm. You know what? We can take a look at that right now. Okay, he's there. That's the only one we have right now. You know what? 
I think we don't need this one. Uh, what did we give him order there? Yeah, we probably don't need him, do we? Give him, take him out there. And then instead, we'll take this army. We'll remove these. And then we'll take these two armies and give them to him. And we can actually... He can be the Mediterranean commander for everything, right? Can't he? I mean, I can keep these... This one here. That's our um, army that's supporting the Iberian coast, right? Okay, yeah, let's do that. So are we coming up here? We are coming up there. We are good to go. Let's go ahead and see what to do now. We have two armies here. What should we do? Well, I think it's best to actually... Hmm. You know, we have a lot of infantry. We have a lot of motorized and armor units. Keep a balance, right? We can't fit everything into one army. That's 30 of them. Let's make two armies. And you know what? No, there's something else I'm thinking about here. Because right here, there is it's a lot of plains and forest, right? Nothing where in mountain unit would be any good, really. But down here in Krasnodar, there's plenty of mountain. Hills and mountains. Why don't we take these? How many? Um, One? No, two. We'll take these two, assign them to an army, and then send them down to Constanta. Yeah, let's do that. And that way, they can be ready after we take Krasnodar and Novorussisk over here. Then they can come ashore and attack and expand. They can be part of it anyway. Yeah, let's do that. And then over here, well, that means we have, what, 8 and 20. I'm going to split it up, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so it's done. I've done that. So I split them up here a little bit. You can see there's uh, 1, uh, 2 armored units here, and then 4 motorized. And then the other unit has... One, two, three, with four motorized as well. So it's pretty close to the same. Let's pick a commander. There's a little bit more armored units here. So let's pick well, somebody. And I saw before we have somebody. Yeah, this guy. We'll pick him. Yeah, we'll take him. And then for this one, it's more infantry. I mean, slightly more, maybe. Not much. Um, This guy here, yeah. Gaspar Gonzalez. Good. So now we have two armies set up here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell the I'm going to tell the uh, field marshal to create a front line, and we're going to be painting that in. And we're going to be painting this in here as well. I think I could do that. Can I do this one as well as this one? I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and and, uh, and try it. You have to pardon me if I'm a little bit slow here. So that's what we're doing there. If I take now and do front line again. Okay, it's good. It's good. I can do it. Let's go up here. Let's go up there. It's kind of an awkward... Okay, no. There. Perfect. So we're taking this now. Um, wait a minute. Nobody's assigned to it, it looks like here. Let's go ahead and start it up a little bit. Okay, everybody's moving down there. Okay. So that's not the best, right? Army Group 1, it's all kind of clustered there. Nobody's assigned to this. I think that is a mistake. We'll take that out. Let's take that out. And let's just do it this way. We'll take a front line. I'm selecting, yeah, Field Marshal. There's the front line. Let's just go ahead and paint it here. And here's what I'm thinking. If we do this, then we're going to keep that front line. We're going to move up to the front. And then I think hopefully that the Romanians will attack in. We'll fill in the gaps. And we kind of slowly move forward. Once they're spent, we can decide what to do, right? But we do get experience. I don't want to get this here up to about 45, if I could. Because then I can get the amphibious vehicles in. The only problem here is that we have a problem here. Hmm. It's almost like I want to have an extra unit or two parked right over here. Can you get across even? I don't know if you can get across here. Well, okay. Well, we'll see what that takes us. And I think we're split them up now, right? Let's see. 14 divisions, Army 11. And then 14 divisions, uh, North Africa, Army Group 1. Um, let's call it the uh, Northern Front. And then we'll call it the um, Southern Front. And then we call it the Iberian Guard. These are the other ones. Remember that on the uh, in Spain? They're kind of stationary for now. Okay, that's good. So now we can kind of more easily see here. Uh, northern front is in the north and southern front in the south. Okay. Relatively speaking, anyway. I think that's pretty good. 
What do we do about the any problems we had over here? Okay, we are controlling it. Don't see anything there. Have they bombed? They have not bombed. Okay, and we are controlling this too. Good, we have 400 of those uh, bombers there. That's good. And 452 fighters there. Wait a minute. Yeah, those 400 there. And what about over here? 50 and 250. Oh, so 300. Okay, that's fine. We're attacking in here, as you can see. Yep, that's good. So nobody over the uh, Black Sea, right? Ukraine, Bay of Biscay. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, good. Let's just take a quick look here. How are we doing? I lost two, but we took out four. That's not bad. They can't shoot them down. I mean, one, oh, one destroyer, though. One destroyer is not much for them. And three convoys, but look at that. We had 400 bombers coming. We lost one. Uh, we did dam do damage to USS Pennsylvania, which at the moment I cannot say what is USS Pennsylvania. Uh, but anyway, we did damage to it quite a bit, too, so that's good. Hopefully that makes a difference anyway. Now, let me just take a look at the... Okay, this one is done. We'll send them in here. They are not training. These guys are training. I don't want to train with them anymore. There. We're going to be saving a little bit of fuel. They were using up 3.4. Wow. That would be the air units and army. Yeah, we are moving them a lot around here. So it's going to be better soon, okay? All right. So let's see what we do here. Okay, moving in. Are you marching? Yeah, you're marching right. Our mountain units are going to march south. And how much longer till we get that? Yeah, that was... Uh, wasn't it November? I think so. Hopefully we can hold the front here. Our generals are not too bad. Oh, wait a minute. I do want to do one more thing. And that is a set up of offensive line, right? You guys told me to do that last time. That kind of makes sense. Get that planning bonus. So we do attack, you get a bonus. Um, if I pick my field marshal and do an offensive line... I see right here we have a river all the way up there. Seems pretty good. What if we go up to here, to Kursk, and go along the river? Or maybe just up here along to the river? I th maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll do that. Um, mm -hmm -hmm. That's the front line. I don't want that. Offensive line. We'll go here. I want to go along the river. Something like that. And wh what does the attack going to look like? Yeah, pretty even, right? I want the ones in the south to attack as well. Pretty even, filling in the blanks there. Okay, just looking to see where the action is going to take place. Um, resistance on Malta. Malta. Mm, I could have moved that guy over there. Ah, oh, I don't want that. Um, only Malta now. Okay, so I got to send somebody else over there. We have Algier to worry about, and we have over here as well. You know what? Could I take this guy, for instance, assign him to purple? We'll go over to Valencia. Not like that. Valencia again. We'll take him. Yeah, that hopefully will be enough. Are we still training here? We are training there. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Wait. We do have one marine ready he's right here no, he's not there and where is he at I don't, don't think I can select him here that takes you there hmm um, right click there we go he's here okay well we're gonna take him move him down south let's meet up in uh, Valencia and then you can train there. That's fine. Go ahead and do that. But, yeah. Okay, so we're going to send one unit across. So once we get to Valencia with that little small brigade, let's send them over to Malta. I want to make sure I don't lose it. You know, but just being stupid over there. We should have taken this one, too. Hmm. So he's coming over here. Well, as soon as he comes over there, let's travel to Malta. There are the Germans. They're moving up. They have a lot of units here. Yep, might as well not protect these ports. He can't get through anyway. There it is. Now, let's take him. Over to Malta. Valletta. Malta. Um, would it be fun to go to uh, Malta too? That's one of the few English-speaking... Well, few uh, countries in Europe where English is the official language, right? That and... One more uh, language. Well, I don't know what to speak. Maltese? But anyway. Um, so we are now ready. We are moving up here. How are we doing here? 
They're losing their attack here. But now look at that. We're filling in nicely. Filling in nicely here. Um, oh, look at that. That is also Army Group what? Army Group 1, the Southern Front, are protecting this as well. Once they take him out, uh, we should be in better shape here, right? Then we'll uh, extend the front. So this is now going to be attacking like that. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. You can change this. I think you can just do edit. But sometimes it's a bit finicky. I don't want to mess around too much. You can do edit here and then drag it around. But yeah. Anyway. So how else? how else is it going elsewhere? Sebastopol. Did they take this one? I think they did. Hmm. There are, is our um, army or our uh, mountain units. Good. Auto saving. Good, good, good. So how are we doing up north? There's Moscow up there. Pretty close to Moscow, right? Pushing north here as well. I assume, yeah, east. They're going to take this. They're going to take this. That's good. That is fine. Yeah, yeah. Let's keep doing that. And then we have, how many do we have here? 28. And the Germans have 38. Yeah, we have a significant portion here. How's it going here? We're not attacking probably, right? They are attacking. We're not. We're just holding the line. 19. Um, are we getting any uh, experience? They're not attacking, right? So we're not getting any experience. But you know what? If we look here... 10. Risky. Inferior enemy. We have a crossing a large river. Preparing. And some of the is not in position. Okay, that's a bad one. This one too. Okay. So once they are done prepared then we'll maybe tell them to attack and that should give us a lot of experience right now not so much so looking at these so yellow not in position 50 percent is a big modifier negative modifier there right and how are we doing with turkey turkey how's it going stop improving no we don't want to do that uh, ask for military access positive seven um, so we need, uh, we had one before, right? We're getting up there. Minus 13. We'll see what happens. Oh, look at that fascist support there. 4.81% now. That's good. Um, I think stability will go down. And once it goes down, um, this stage of coup will be easier to do if I want to do that. Turkish opinion of national Spain, 74. And that will give us uh, a bit of a boost, right? But I got to get it all the way up to... Well, 13 more. 14, I guess, right? How are we doing over here? Still losing a few naval bombers here and there. But I think it's okay. It's worth it, right? I mean, hopefully it's worth it. Um, how many do we have in storage here? Naval bombers. Yeah, tons of them. And that's because we're right now creating more. All the way up until this one is done. 121 days. Yep, that's what I want to do. So let's see. Can we get them uh, to be uh, completed here with our planning? I don't know. That's the light purple. Oh, he's ready. Okay, so he's ready. He's saying everybody in position. It's looking good. Large river crossing, not so much to worry about. This one, not yet ready. Why is that? Still moving in here. Still moving in there. You know what? We could tell this army to move in and attack. But let's wait with that. Let's wait till we get these guys in position here. Should be pretty quick. Once they come in there, we should get that green arrow. We'll just tell them, go. So here, looking good as well. Inferior enemy. The Russians are not very strong, I guess. Maybe it was just the... Uh, you know, the numbers were not really on their side. Yeah, look at that. They keep moving because the army, the front line keeps moving here. So me telling them to wait and stuff. No point. Oh, I was going to say... Not in position again. Okay. We'll activate it. The entire plan. Let's go. That means they're going to activate as well. So now, hopefully... 20.4. Yeah, look at that. We are attacking heavily. And everybody's in great shape. Can uh, pierce two out of two armored enemy divisions. That is great news. Yeah, look at that. That is fantastic. An armored unit as well. And we have a few planes here. That's going to be our support planes, right? I mean, I think they're still doing good. Yeah, haven't really lost any yet. But now, we should see that change, hopefully, right? We could assign these uh, planes directly to our armies, but I don't think I want to do that. Um, <laughs> we're winning. 57 here, yep. Yeah. And then this one as well. 
54. Okay. It's looking good. It's looking good, guys. Keep on, keep on trucking over there in the south, so we can uh, push back the Russians. And how's it looking here on the map as we go? It looks good, right? Mostly winning. The Russians are being pushed back. Yeah, definitely. Look at that. That's us making a big, huge difference here. But now it looks like the Russians are coming in from the south. Yeah, right. I mean, it does look like it. Should we have another smaller army that is just working on that? We do have five units here. You know, oh no, not five. We have actually four. But I could take those four and set up a little secondary protection here, right? They're not yet fully prepared. I mean, experience is not great on them, but there's only... Eh, I don't know. We could put them in here, right here, over here. Put them all in this area. And then they could help the Romanians. Because if the Romanians leave... I'm a little bit worried about that. Um, don't want to come in and cut us off here, right? Who else do I have? Nobody, really. Uh, I would have to take somebody from our um, the Iberian Guard. Is that reasonable? Yeah, we're protecting all the way up here. We don't need to protect this, actually. Hmm. Well, let's protect it anyway. It's close to us there. We don't want to lose anything. But I could take these um, five here. We'll do that, I guess. We'll take it. Let's send them over to... Uh, yeah. Those five. And what about my... Oh, I don't want to take them. Do I? No, he, he can go over there too. Why not? Let's send him across. Actually, let's, don't go to Murcia. Don't go to Murcia at all. Instead... We'll tell them to go um, up by land, right? That's better. It's faster. There. Now, okay, they're moving along the rail. Okay, good. We'll take them there, including the one... The one uh, marine. So we're going to have five more. Six marine units. That's going to be fine. Totally fine. Let's keep going here. Now we sank two of the British convoys. Doing do good damage here, right? I and mean, this is good damage. Two more? Why are they sending them through here? I don't get it. G going where? They should be staying away from that. I'm just hoping we can uh, take out some real ships, right? Gaspar Gonzalez wounded. Oh. It seems uh, Gaspar Gonzalez put himself a bit too much risk. He's going to be out of commission for a while, right? Wounded for 90 days. Um, Gaspar Gonda Gonzalez. Is that him? Nope. That's Augustine. Here, this guy. The uh, infantry commander. We have one unit here who is not, not yet full. Okay, fully trained. Okay, so what do we do? Well, let's take a look. So what do we get? What does that mean for him? Um, he's gonna be out of commission. I guess he's gonna be out of commission. Learning traits. He's learning those. You know, the so more um, the more armored units you have, the better you're gonna get in whatever armor attack. I guess. Well, that looks good. I said we just continue here, right? In Romania. So how's that looking now? They're attacking in there, but they're not winning. We're going to get up there with our units. And... Oh, look at that. We're pushing way ahead. Are we even holding it here? Yeah, there's an armored unit here. It's looking pretty good. I mean, the numbers are in our favor. We're going to be using up a lot of medium tanks, though. Plus eight. Are we building any? I can't even remember. Yes, we are. A few. Five a week. Should be enough, right? We're missing three steel. You know what? There. Now it's better. Now it's much better. Let's do that. Um, artillery, we have so many of it anyway, so that's fine. Yeah, that's totally fine. Naval bombers, so yeah, we're just pumping those out for a day. Okay, what are we doing about our 11 now? 11 factories. Let's keep have them come out. And uh, we'll keep attacking here. We'll see how it goes. I mean, eventually we'll get our marines, but we'll see. We'll see what happens if we can uh, have them help out. Two more convoys gone. Wait, that's the Italian. I mean, once if we were to attack Britain, maybe the Italians will come out here too. And the Vichy, France as well. That's the pride of the fleet in there. What do they have? One battleship, two heavy cruisers, seven light. Not quite as good as ours, right? Do we have new ships, by the way? Let me see. 
We have our service fleet. That's the same. Exercise fleet. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We'll take them and send them to the surface fleet. They're on their way. Uh, anybody else? No. And once the submarines are done, send them back over there. Look at that. The heavy uh, cruisers are going and uh, almost ready. Uh, where are we talking about? Casablanca? You know, Casablanca now? Hmm. That's Casablanca. Oh. We only have one unit. Oh, that's our problem, right? Um... He's over here. Oh, the Italians are there too. Okay. This one is on Corsica or on Cyprus. Algier. Down here. And then Alexandria. I could take it from Alexandria. What are the chances they're going to attack, right? Right. I mean, look at that. Italy is all the way down here. Well, it's really more like uh, the Germans. Okay, we'll take a chance. We'll send that unit over here. And I don't know if it's the number of units you have here uh, to re reduce resistance or if it is uh, the how strong they are. Um, point two. Cap that 33.4. Casablanca, one. Okay. Well, we'll send it over there. We'll leave both there and we'll see if that will be enough, right? Okay, so now how's it going over here? Still pushing ahead. Although we're not doing as well here. It doesn't look like, right? There's an armored unit there. Let's just take a look at this. For one second here. We have 36. Um, two tanks. And they are doing good. They can't pierce it. And we can pierce theirs. And then a motorized one as well. We have another division coming in. And they're almost going there, right? They must be taking a lot of damage. We have air superiority. And we're attacking from multiple directions as well. Well, that's good. I mean, I, I'm liking it how things are going here. What do we say about this army uh, here? He's on his way over there. What about the rest of them? Um, where are they? Oh, wait. Only the one is traveling by rail. Okay. Um, let's take these as well. Where are they at now? Probably down here somewhere. Well, let's see. Not even moving. Okay, great. I just picked him. Okay, we'll take them and head on up here. In fact, you guys can go straight down here. Can you get there? Yeah, okay, let's go there. That will take a while to get there, but that's fine. I think it's worth it. A little bit more of the convoy rating. Yep, another convoy. Nice to see all these uh, bombers there. 99, taking out another convoy. Uh... Oh, yeah. Uh, that's because of Okay, we're on our way over there. It's going to take a little while to get there, right? With him, even though he's traveling by rail. Yep. No, wait. Yeah, he is. Okay, good. He is. Not to worry. We're fine. And what about Turkey? Stop improving relations. We don't want to do that. Ask for military access. What do we have? 11. It will take a while to get that, right? Although it's fine, because we don't have the... The infantry units ready anyway, right? And right now we're looking at uh, August 25th. Okay, so yeah, let's get them up there. So pushing ahead in the east, it looks like that's working out reasonably well, right? They're attacking us, we're attacking them, but mostly green arrows here, right? More or less. We're not making the foolish attacks. I don't think we are anyway. And where are we having? Yeah, still on the way in there. Um, and a few more of these. Just kind of interesting to see how many we're able to take out. Quite a few. Just means they have to do more, right? And then we're producing, we're building more of these um, civilian factories. I want to have a few more, right? It kind of makes sense to have that. We lost one bomber over there. But we have a lot of those bombers, so let's not worry about that. Let's go for a little bit longer here and see what we can get. So the, how's it going here now? They're attacking in there, but they're losing. We're attacking here, but it must not be us. I don't think so anyway. Look at that. It's not great. Risky. You know, we can tell them to stop now. Can't attack forever, right? So let's maybe tell them to stop there. And then we're going to have them uh, continue. Just uh, superior enemy 50%. Ooh, okay. That's not good. Alright, well, we'll see. If we're just going to hold the line now. Let's hold the line. Let's recuperate. We have 222,000 men. 
And how are we doing with the uh, Air Force? Okay, Ukraine is ours. Okay. 3,000 there. They have 640. Our 250 fighters are being met by 645 interception. So we're taking out a little bit of damage there. Well, yeah, it's fine. And we could look at the stats here as well. Enemy troops bomb, 120. Our troops bomb, 12. Enemy fighters lost two. We lost uh, five support there, but lost uh, one bomber, 11 support. And then bombers were disrupted as well. So overall, I think it's looking pretty good. I mean, I'm pretty happy with uh, the setup so far. Uh, how are we doing with these? Okay, they're all maxed out. Here, with no, nobody yet, but soon. Soon we'll have those heavy cruisers ready to go. And then these will also be trained better. Okay, well, that's all we can do for now, I think, guys. I'm going to have to leave it here. And uh, when we come back, we'll continue, and hopefully I can uh, make a push here against Krasnodar. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So come back later. And I'll see you then. Bye.